New at 6.30 tonight in a story you'll only see on ABC 17 News, we have an exclusive interview with a Fulton bus driver who was fired today after being caught on video using his phone while driving students. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller spoke to the bus driver, 73-year-old Gary Storch, and he told her some of the things parents are saying about him are wrong. Deb, Gary Storch told me he was only trying to bring a little Christmas spirit to the bus, and the only time he used his phone was to play music for the children. I do not use a phone. I played music on my phone. I have never called a soul on my phone. Gary Storch said he was in the Christmas spirit. That's why he decided to play a few songs on his phone. But Storch said he never would have imagined it would have backfired on him quite like this. Just last week, Brandy Buck, a parent at Fulton, posted a lengthy message along with videos on her social media of Storch, which got lots of attention from the community. Do you believe uh, that parents are wrong or the community is wrong for being upset right now that you were using or had your phone uh, while operating a vehicle? I don't think they should be because what I was trying to do was make it good for their kids in the bus. And it's, my phone is not the only thing I operate with one hand off the wheel. I have a two-way radio in the bus that I have to communicate with the school itself. Storch says playing his music with one hand is the same as communicating on his handheld radio. And I have to take my hand off the steering wheel and grab the mic, press the mic, talk into it, tell him bus seven is coming to your school. I then asked Storch why he was filmed leaving the bus to pick up a mailbox, and he admits he did accidentally back up into it, going about two miles per hour, but he says he wasn't on his phone. Yeah, I just set it back up. It was held up by a, oh, a four by four concrete slab, and that's all that was holding it, so it didn't take much to pick it back up and set it up. And that is the only thing Scorch says he is guilty of. Everything else, he says, was done for the kids. And police tell me at this time a case has not been open for Storch. Okay, Kennedy Miller, thank you. And we did try reaching out to the superintendent at Fulton School District for a statement, but we still haven't received a response.